Welcome. My name is Victoria Quiroga, and this presentation shows how FlowDiv achieves reproducible cytometric diversity estimates. Bruno, Andre, Fernando, and I are the people behind FlowDiv. Some background. The flow cytometer acquires single cell multiple data called channels, like scatter light and fluorescence, and store it in FCS files. Cytometric data can be visualized through cytograms, which are biplots of channels, where dots represent cells and 3D color their abundance. We generate gates to remove noise and identify the standard and the cytometric population of interest and subpopulations. Each sample has a characteristic cytogram that can be considered as a cytometric fingerprint. But comparing cytograms is not straightforward because environmental samples are generally acquired with different instrumental settings and dilution factors. Regarding data processing. Before FlowDiv, we generated gates for the subpopulations and the standard in the FlowGel software and exported their channel median values and cell counts into Excel. Then data handling involved transforming the channel median values of each subpopulation into relative values according to the standard and applying dilution factors for each sample. The output had reduced data dimension and was further used for multivariate analysis. With FlowDiv, we only need to generate the gates for the population and the standard. Here, we delete the subjective subgating and FlowDiv directly imports the gates into R, containing single cell data with multiple channel values. FlowDiv implements channel normalization and volume correction before calculating diversity indexes. This output has higher data dimensions and can be further used for multivariate analysis in R. Some FlowDiv arguments use bits to activate the channel normalization step. Cells position in the cytograms depends on the instrumental settings. So FlowDiv centers all cytograms based on their standard mean. This is an interactive code that suggests num the best number of pins for channel clustering. In this example, the channels were clustered into five bins, and the contingency table shows the cell count for each cytometric category. The dilution argument activates the volume correction step. Here, the input is a vector containing the dilution factor for all samples. The standard and future goals. Each time FlowDo implements a change, we need to wait for dependency updates, mainly these three bioconductor packages, and then update FlowDiv accordingly. So, we believe that the path forward involves developing a suitable gating approach in R and also a flow deep tutorial with the Learn R package. For questions and feedback, please contact us. And thank you. <laughs>